test one two three hey guys welcome to the new video if you're a new subscriber i upload every video i just watched obi-wan kenobi series episode 5 season 1 and i want to share my thoughts do quick recap it's gonna be spoiler talk overall this episode was pretty okay uh, better than the previous one okay <laughs> i wasn't big fan of the previous episode and the first two so basically the episode starts like uh, this chick just goes to the vader and just say like oh obi-wan kenobi and leia are on those planet the rebels are on this planet and vader just you know nominate her to the one to the fierce inquisitor or whatever yes she is in charge basically on the inquisitors she is the boss yes the right hand of the vader i'm assuming and we got some flashback with uh, Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I'm going to say those flashback were, were pretty good. was pretty good. But uh, the actor who plays uh, Hadrian Christiansen or whatever his name is, he looks old, okay, <laughs> as fucking Anakin. You can see his face is like, yeah, I am old, dude. But it was pretty okay, you know, to see those flashbacks. And I get it what they do and it's pretty okay but i don't know guys it's something like something's a little bit annoys me like they just mixing you know the episode with the flashback like the lessons like oh obi-wan can be smarter than you know or anakin is fucking padawan so obi-wan is smarter and in the episode they just mixing this like oh obi-wan is smarter as you can see at the end of the episode he just tricks him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You get the idea? It's a little bit annoys me, but whatever. It was pretty okay. So, uh, you know, they just go right there and Obi-Wan Kenobi and Leia. I'm gonna say, the Leia character, the child who plays Leia, annoys me so fucking much. I hate her. Okay. <laughs> I hate the act, uh, not the actor, but the character in the movie, okay, on the series. So basically we got, I like the twist in this one, okay? I like, I like the basic idea of this story in this fucking series. Uh, but I don't know, something is off a little bit in my opinion. This episode was pretty okay. The music was very sad. So they are in base and they just, you know, meet up with this fake Jedi and Obi-Wan Kenobi just, hey, hello, what's up, man? and he just explained like you know in those planet on this planet like he was basically he was escaping the planet or whatever i don't know get it he just gives some dialogue and basically yeah i'm gonna say the dialogue is like forgettable like i don't remember any line in this episode i don't remember <laughs> what the character just sa says to character it, it's like you get it, the idea it's like forgettable you just watch this yes or oh, whatever this kind of blend so you know obi-wan kenobi and basically the robot like leia has yes this fucking circle kind of shaped robot just sabotage the base of course like oh he just cut the <laughs> the fucking wire so it, it was a little bit stupid but i get it the idea they are trapped and uh, uh, they basically just approaching this base it's like from star wars how many times they doing this like in empire strike back they do this in the last jedi then do this H how many times whatever so basically i get it they copy those stuff okay like oh they are trapped in the base oh once again you know and they're gonna escape once again so uh basically you know they are trapped and uh, vader just sends some starships and they just mix in you know with the fight with obi-wan kenobi and anakin yes skywalker old anakin i'm gonna say uh, and basically uh, that's happened and what's happened yeah this chick who saves obi-wan kenobi in the previous episode i don't even remember her name have some dialogue with obi-wan it's like forgettable like i don't even remember what she says to obi-wan she says some kind of stories like oh we i work for some you know empire and they are terrible people it's like forgettable i get it you got set set things and you're gonna die of course <laughs> and she dies so 
it's like forgettable character. I like the robot more than this chick. I like the robot and this chick dynamic a little bit more than her dialogue to Obi Wan. So basically, they just decide like, oh, we must escape because you know Empire just approaching the base, and they try to escape. And basically, this annoys me a little bit. This young Leia just give me the latter, and I'm gonna check it out because there are some kind of, I know, some small hole. And this Leia, young Leia character, gonna be like, I'll, I'll give me the other, I'm gonna check it out, and I'm gonna, you know, fix the fucking base, this hangar, open in hangar. Uh, I hate it. I hate this young Leia. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why. You know why? Because she tries to play like Leia. And it's like, annoys me. Yeah, you try to be this kind of, you know, noble. This fucking, uh, and it's so annoys me, <laughs> annoys me, so uh, whatever, so basically, uh, what happened, I like the twist, okay, if you watch the episode, you get it, they are, they approach, they just shooting on the base, and they are under attack, and this fucking stuff, and we got some flashback with, of course, uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan, they have some fucking dialogue, yes, to each other, like, oh, I win in, Obi-Wan, you are a fool, I am winning, let's go. And uh, basically they attack in the base and uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi at some point just goes and I want to talk, you know, to the first Inquisitor, this chick, yes. And I like the twist, like she was good guy. Not good guy, but she want to kill Vader. But I don't know, she's... <laughs> Uh, whatever this is Star Wars I get the idea like they must fight on this on this lightsabers battle but I don't know it was a little bit strange I'm gonna say uh, what I think later on of this stuff but Obi-Wan approached this chick and you know Obi-Wan was like oh you are the survivor of the of the order 66 you are a child and you know Anakin is Vader oh what the fuck I like this twist, like she was, you know, the survivor of this chick and she tried to kill Vader and she have her motives, but I'm assuming she kills innocent people in this fucking round or road of the revenge, her way, it's like, come on. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated, I like, like, this character is shades and grey, it's not like black and white, so I like this. So basically, you know, they just say like, oh, uh... And I like this scene, like she just cut the base in with lightsaber, like she just opened the base. Yes, if you watch, she just talking to Obi Wan Kenobi, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna bring, you know, they just say something like, I'm gonna help you to defeat the Vader or something like this, and she just, uh, how to say, stop the base, <laughs> yes, the door with the lightsaber, and the base just open. I like this shot; it was good. And they start shooting, Obi-Wan just reflects, yes, those fucking shots with the lightsaber. And people just run away. And they just run away and this chick just dies, yes, who saved Obi-Wan cannot be in the previous episode. I don't even remember her name. And the robot just dies too. It's like a little bit sad. The robot protects this chick, I like this idea. Like The robot protects, you know, this chick and she just sacrifices. She just has some kind of bomb, like... And I'm, I know what she mentioned to Obi-Wan. Yeah, I got some bombs to everyone or whatever. And she just blew up herself. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so basically, she just blew up herself. And Obi-Wan was like, no. She was fi he was fighting some stormtroopers. And he just figured out like, oh, this must be some kind of, you know, mind game with Vader. So this chick just approached Vader and Vader just came out to the base. No, uh, I'm sorry. That was strange. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi just give up himself. And this is fucking stupid. This is stupid. I don't get it. Okay. She j basically just, you know, approached the base and uh, they were trapped in this room. Yes. With the hunger. And Obi-Wan cannot be, you know, this chick just dies and Obi-Wan just decide, oh, I must finish this, I must go there. And he just go there and he have to talk with this chick and the stormtroopers and he was like, 
I'm gonna bring Lord Vader to, to you like so he just used her to basically get out the people list from this fucking hunger I get it uh, cool idea another one and basically they have some dialogue yes with this chick and this chick just you know sent him I don't know to another room I don't get it he was free next scenes he was fucking free in this fucking room so i don't get it he just i don't know kill those stormtroopers they don't say this uh, they don't show those stuff and they don't say this so it's like i am a little bit confused like they have the dialogue he was sacrificed like oh i'm gonna you know bring vader to you and she just leave obi-wan cannot be like okay go go to the fucking base that happened i don't get it so basically they just uh, Vader approach and uh, they just mix in like you know in this fucking flashback like Anakin <laughs> old Anakin and Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting and Obi-Wan just lose the weapon I get it of course and Obi-Wan gonna trick him like oh you are still part of one I'm you know smarter than you we 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 you, you must learn get it the idea and basically that was a little bit cool shot but it was like I don't know, something feels like fan fiction. You get it, the idea, like, uh, Vader destroys ships. What a cool shot. It's cool, but something that's a little bit off. I'm gonna say it, okay? I I'm not gonna sound like a hater, because I like this episode. It was one of the best of this fucking season so far, but it's like, something feels off. Vader approach, and basically he just destroyed the ship. And they hide another ship to another ship. <laughs> to the ship that Vader destroys. <laughs> it's so strange. I was like watching this stuff. What the fuck was that? Who was piloting this fucking ship who get destroyed? I'm assuming the pilot doesn't get up for this ship. <laughs> or I don't get it. So basically, you know, they just hide the ship in another <laughs> ship. And they just escape, yes? the people and Vader you know destroyed the ship it was cool and the this fucking character who screams and running around from Obi-Wan uh, for Obi-Wan this chick she would just try to stop Vader <laughs> it's so stupid but I get it the story must progress and they have cool s stuff I, I'm gonna admit okay there are some cool things in this series but it's something feels a little bit off like ah uh, so basically he she got this kind of cool uh, sword lightsaber like this those swords just rotate it's a cool idea okay for a sword and basically vader just push her <laughs> with some tai chi moves if you watch the episode you get it he just moving you know with his hand her uh, it was all the fight and the music starts playing like some kind of tense music but I, I don't feel this scene like he was doing some fucking moves with her with his hands and he was pushing her like a fucking doll so uh, and this was a little bit strange like you know he was having two swords lightsaber swords and he just give her this one sword and like oh he is so honorable <laughs> or whatever I don't get it and of course in the flashback uh, Anakin just have the sword but Obi-Wan tricks him and he got the sword and uh, he just say to him like oh you are still Padawan we 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 okay I get it we get it okay you get it we get it you connect this flashback to the story and we get it so basically uh, you know this Re Reva have fight with this uh, Vader and Vader just taps her and she got some flashback with this order 66 that Anakin kills the child child's yes children okay fuck my English in the temple and she just gets stopped uh, stop and I'm a little bit confused about this because Obi-Wan Kenobi has some messages with message with the senator and I'm assuming the senator gonna die because we don't see the senator in the original trilogy so he, he is dead in the series 100% the dad of Leia yes and the mother I'm assuming so basically Obi-Wan Kenobi has some message from the senator like Luke is in trouble or whatever I'm confused so she just gets stopped and this Grand Inf 
Inquisitor, yes, that was uh, the first one. And I'm glad that, like they brought him back because he was more intimidated than her. I get it why she is not that intimidated because she was she have this motive like to kill Vader. So I get it why they choose to uh, play plays this character like oh she gonna scream and because she gonna be this kind of spy, not spy but undercover. Or she wants to kill Vader. So basically. Uh, how to say what I mean? Uh, yeah, she just gets stopped, and this fierce guy, yes, who she was stopped in the f second episode, I'm assuming, or third. This grand inquisitor just say some stuff like "thank you," "goodbye," whatever, "fuck you," <laughs> "fuck you," you are dead, and they just go away. And Vader just says like, "Oh, you don't see? I'm seeing you. I saw you." And this temple or I saw you like you are the spy. I, I am, you know, I have eyes. I am Vader. <laughs> Let's go. And uh, what else? She she was alive. I am. Uh, I don't know how she gets some message with uh, this fucking from the senator. Like, oh, there is a boy in the sand place, <laughs> the planet. And we must protect him. And she just get this kind of message. And Obi-Wan Kenobi was warned in the starship. And that's it. So it was good episode. I like this episode and episode three. I like the ideas, okay? Like I said in this series, but something is a little bit feels off. The ideas are good, like, oh she's uh, she wanna kill Vader. Uh, and I was thinking Obi-Wan Kenobi gonna help her, but no, she is this kind of great character like she kills people, but she got good intentions too to kill Vader. And of course she's gonna fail because we saw Vader in the original trilogy. So you are dead. You are fucking dead in this series. 100% she is dead. So, uh, I am confused. What? Because she was alive at the end of the episode. I was thinking she's gonna be dead. So she is alive and she got this kind of message like we must protect the boy and we got some zoom in on the Luke Skywalker, this young child. <laughs> I don't know guys, 7 out of 10, it was pretty okay, better than the previous one, 100%, but yeah, something feels off a little bit from this series, like, they threw those ideas, like, I get it, you know, like, oh, she gonna die, the robot gonna die, we don't feel tension, you know why, because we know Obi-Wan cannot be gonna live. We know like Vader gonna live, so nothing's happened in this one. We know Luke's gonna live, so why they're you know playing this dramatic music and zoom into the Luke Skywalker? It's like we don't care. Luke gonna be alive, so why you are you know try to trick me like Luke is in danger? He's not gonna be in danger. He's gonna be alive in the original trilogy, like Leia too. Leia gonna be alive. We don't feel tension for those characters because we know they're gonna live, and. I don't know, they should build up some new characters in my opinion and we should fear for those characters but I don't know guys, it's something is a little bit off but this episode was great, 7 out of 10, not great but good, 7 out of 10 and I think episode 3 was good too but those 3 episodes like episode 1, 2 and 4 was shit. But this and three episodes was pretty good. Good ideas, like I said in this series, but something feels off a little bit. So thank you for watching, guys. If I forget something from this episode, I I like the twists, okay, with this Riva try to kill Vader. And my prediction, I'm gonna say at the end of this uh, video, my prediction is gonna be like, Riva gonna be alive and she gonna try to kill Obi-Wan because she, she was thinking like, I am just a tool in your hand or whatever, like, Oh, you tricked me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, or whatever. It's gonna be that kind of shit, like, she not gonna be friend with Obi-Wan, I'm assuming. I don't know. Maybe she gonna be friend, but she gonna be annoyed at first, like, because she got the message from the sand, like, planet, like, Luke is there, so. I don't know, so, something is strange. Thank you for watching, guys, see you on the next video.